Recently I started some new paintings and um, these are done on cradle panels. Uh, there's a layer of gesso and then I collaged over the top with just different shapes of um, collage paper, scraps and things that I'd found. Now the first things that I like to do when I um, when I create a painting is I want to build up a surface, a really interesting rich surface. So this takes a bit of time and it takes, um, you know, you have to lay down a few layers and paint over things, which is what I'm doing here with the black gesso. But the other thing that I like to do is while I'm laying down layers that are going to be ultimately painted over and there's not going to be a huge amount of it left in the final painting, I like to um, sort of um, make it relevant or lay down my life basically on those first layers and on this occasion I um, was I had been looking after a sick goat I have three goats and um, one of them got sick and I was looking after her but unfortunately she died and so in this um, as I'm building up the surface of these two paintings I'm feeling a little bit sad and um, I'm thinking about my poor goat and um, and this is the type this is well when I feel happy I put happy things in but on this occasion I felt sad and this is the way I like to sort of Im embed my paintings with my feelings things that are going on in my life and um, I, I think that this is a way of making those those early layers that are going to be covered over more interesting, more relevant and um, it's certainly a practice that I, I do with all my paintings is those first few layers are full of um, drawings, words, references to how I'm feeling and things that are going on. So now that I've sort of uh, put on this layer of black I'm now going to draw and this is my little goat <laughs> and I'm being very primitive in my drawing because my feelings are quite raw and they're basic and um, so that's the style of drawing that I feel is um, is relevant to the feelings that I have and I'm just drawing on here with um, pastels and I'm writing words and feelings and all of this will get hidden but it's just a way of while I'm thinking about my my goat and I'm wanting to do some art and I'm wanting to build the layers on these paintings I can use these feelings to um, as sort of subject matter and to and to you know this is what is in my mind so this is what goes on the cat on the on the panel um, I've certainly done this a lot when my father died I, I did the same kind of thing and it's just um, using art to express how what it is that you're feeling and there's no judgment it's just purely sort of raw um, feeling and expressing and mark making that goes on the on the painting and in my case it all gets covered up but it's it's a really um, you know it's how I was feeling at the time and um, and I think it's a really relevant um, use of our art making time is to work through some feelings that we have that are going on in our in our live lives at the time as we all have a life that lives outside of our art and when these two connect then um, art is really serving us I think. So here I am writing some things about um, my goat. She was a bossy old goat and um, now I'm going to cover it all up and um, then I go on to think more about design and, and things that we consider when we're making a painting.
So in the end, all those little marks and drawings and words and things, they're all part of the painting. They're, you know, they, they become part of the paint that is on, the, on that canvas. And that way, it kind of, I just feel that it helps make the painting more personal. And um, it's sort of that history that lies underneath the surface is real and relates to your life. And I can see a sort of a, a metaphor that can be drawn in that as all of this is buried under the paint, so was my goat sort of buried under the ground. So um, there's sort of a relevance in the working through of a process here. And then the next day, um, I started to think about design and um, laid over some other shapes and colours and collage over the top of the canvas. I might bring the goats back through again, but I don't know, we'll just see how these paintings develop. But they certainly served a purpose as I was thinking and feeling sad about my goat um, to work her into the layers of my painting. And this is the second.